Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Has anyone told you today that you matter? Because you do. In today's video, I wanted to share my May favorites with you and I wanted to, <laughs> it's like 8.42, I'm tired, it's been a long day, but I really want to get this out tomorrow, so I'm hoping that I can just kind of like go through these products and get it uploaded and maybe not do so much editing. <laughs> tonight so I hope that's okay with you guys um, I just want to be able to tell you what my favorites were this month and get it out there for you guys to see um, because I have some really good stuff to share with you and um, yeah so okay let's just jump in normally I go in order of the month like what I was loving at the beginning but I realized I kind of like sorted things into groups so let's start with these two products right let's start with let's start with um let's start with like bronzers like when do i ever start with bronzers i don't know <laughs> i don't think i do but anyway this is a cream bronzer this is the fenty uh cream bronzer in macchiato from fenty um I have been loving this cream bronzer and there is one shade that's lighter but I feel like when you blend it out it works and I am so very glad that I got this brush that was recommended on the Sephora website to go with this. This is the Fenty 125. This brush is so nice and I've used it so much and it I feel like it does not like hold on to the product because look the bristles are like a pink and yeah it's a little used on top but it doesn't really look like dirty like really badly to me and I literally just put some on because I redid my face makeup because it, it needed to be redone <laughs> if I was gonna film so yeah, I love these two things together. I also use this brush with the cream blush that I'm going to talk about in just a moment. But if you are looking for a good cream brush, the 125 face brush from Fenty is phenomenal. I love it. I've recommended it to people on Insta. Like I just, I think it's really good, y'all. Um, okay, moving on. I have two powder brushes. Blah, powder. I have two powder bronzers <laughs> that I want to talk about. The first one is this one from Kosas. This is in the shade Light. I love this bronzer because it definitely has like a. Oh, it does have a bit of a glow to it. I don't want to say sparkle. It's this one right here. But yeah, it's definitely a more glowy bronzer and I really, really, really appreciate that. It's definitely on the more golden-y warm side, I would say. Um, I think the packaging is super cute. A lot of people were talking about this because it just came out right around the Sephora VIB sale and so people were getting it like crazy. I was able to get my hands on it after it restocked. So, um, yeah, that's the bronzer that I'm wearing today, and I want to tell you about another brush that I got. This is the Sephora Pro Bronzer 80 brush. This sucker is huge, but I love it for putting on bronzer. Like, I literally haven't used anything else for putting on bronzer since I got this bronzer brush a few weeks ago. It's so, so soft. Um, yeah, I just, it, the thing that I really like about it is that it does not, like, clump together. Like, I have another bronzer brush that I've used for quite a while that's quite a bit smaller, but the, I feel like the bristles clump together, and this one, it doesn't do that. And it's just, uh, I just, it feels so nice. It's so soft. 
y'all really it is and I just really like it so I would definitely recommend that um, okay one more bronzer here to share with you this is from Elia I have used this a ton this is the night light bronzing powder in drawn in now this one is I think a little bit lighter Let's maybe well I don't know it's definitely a different tone than the Kosas I think that the Elia may be a little bit deeper actually and not as glowy but I do really like this bronzer um I haven't heard a ton of people talk about Elia and I just it's a clean beauty company or at least this product is clean beauty so I think that's really nice um and I've just been having fun playing around with that it's like been the month of bronzers for me like no kidding because back here in this box can you see the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer is in there and I can't wait I can't wait to try out everything that's in that box there's some good stuff in there y'all and I think I'll do like a try on haul style video maybe maybe for next week um because it's like the Sephora sale just didn't happen but <laughs> anyway quarantine <laughs> um okay so those are the bronzers. I'm just going to set those aside. Or right, you know what? I'll just leave them. I'll just leave them out here. Okay. Let's see. What else do I need to talk about? Let's go on to blushes. Where are they all? Jordan, okay. 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 I have three here. Two I've talked about so much. I think I talked about these last month. Were they in my last month favorites? Yes, they were. They made it into <laughs> another month favorites. Um, these are the Persona Cosmetics Super Blushes. These are amazing. And I love the Georgia a ton. That's what I'm wearing today. Uh, but I used the Caramel more this month too. And it is so, so pretty. There they are. Oh, I just can't even with these blushes. They're so, so pretty. Uh, and, you know... I gotta give a shout out to their social media department because they are so interactive with people and I love it. It just makes my day when I like post tag Persona and I see that they like my post and like make a little comment back. So thank you Persona Cosmetics. You make a girl feel special and that's really sweet. So yeah, those are the blushes. I just absolutely adore them. And then, I can't believe it. I wasn't even going to buy these products, like any of the Fenty stuff, but this one really quickly wormed. <laughs> that does not sound like a positive thing. It really quickly, like, stole my heart. This is the Cream Blush in Rose Latte. Um, it looks really dark here, but it'll blend out to a really nice kind of rosy bronze see there it is see how that blends out so nicely yes yes <sighs> so those are the blush products I've been loving let's see okay where am I at here dun dun okay 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 we're gonna move on to two more face products here um, before I get into eye shadows um, one is I feel like I finally figured out how to use this product so because I felt like maybe it was just like making me a little bit too flat not necessarily matte but just flat and it's the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush that everybody freaking raves about and it took me a while to get comfortable using this um but i've discovered a brush this is the morphe y11 and i really like using it with this brush i feel like i have a lot of control and i think what this what really sold me on this is like i feel like this keeps 
my oils down more throughout the day because I have dry skin but as the day goes on I can tend to get a little oily in my t-zone um, and this just kind of keeps that oil at bay so um, yeah this definitely worked its way into my favorites and I have a nice little dip in it and I'm kind of proud of that so <laughs> Okay, one more kind of face product thingy and <laughs> thingy. This is the Jaclyn Hill Flash Palette. I absolutely adore this highlight right here. I'm going to put some on because I redid my makeup and didn't put any on. And I'll just show you the magic of this. It's very, very smooth. I mean, it should be because, like, Jaclyn, I watched her for years she is, I mean, she's the queen of highlight, honestly. Like, I know she's kind of had some missteps and stuff, but I still watch her. Um, mostly on Instagram, actually. I don't watch, I watch her more on Instagram than I watch her YouTube videos. But, yeah, this is just a really pretty highlighting palette from her own line. It was... It's lovely to see her have something come out that didn't have much or really any controversy behind it at all. So congrats to her on that. And it's definitely in my favorites this month. Okay. So I have a couple of eyeshadow palettes here to talk to you about. The first two are from Viseart. And the first one is this one that's been out for quite a long time, but I just recently got it in the Sephora sale is the Petite Pro 3 palette. I love this little thing. The greens are so cute. The purples are so cute. It's just like the perfect little springy palette. Like today I have the purple on my, this is what I'm wearing today. I have the purple on my lid and the greens on my lower lash line, but I love switching it up and having the greens on my lid and the purple on my lower lash line. And then, you know, then you could get like something super neutral with like these kind of cooler matte shades and then this kind of taupey shade there if you wanted to and I really love this little highlight shade that's what's in my inner corner and it's just so cute and compact it's like the size of a credit card and it's I really really like it I don't have any of their big palettes nor do I ever plan to purchase them because I don't think it's worth the money but these smaller ones like the next one that I love this Paris edit palette I just think they're great you get more color options. It's just a cute little thing, so it'd be cute to travel with. It'd be cute to travel with. Easy to travel with. It gives, you have a little mirror. It's just like kind of everything you need. And this one's definitely cooler toned, more kind of mauvey pinky. Um, but I really, those two I wore quite a bit this month. And then one that kind of came on at the end was... A Charlotte Tilbury quad that's kind of surprised me to be honest because I hadn't worn it much since I got it but it's the mesmerizing maroons let me just go ahead and swatch this this is her new she came out with those four kind of new quads and um, yeah I definitely wore this for almost like a week straight which is like very different for me because you know I have quite a big collection and <laughs> for some reason like I totally fell down the Charlotte Tilbury hole this month and I've, I've gotten some stuff I've gotten some stuff and it's I am having fun playing and learning her brand and yeah 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 okay Oh, should I grab it? Where is it? Do I have it right here? I don't. I have one more that I have to show you. So hold on. I pulled this out because y'all know that Mother Pat is coming out with a Divine Rose 2. So I had to pull out the first Divine Rose and just, you know, give her some love. And I remembered why I collect Pat McGrath eyeshadow palettes because they're beautiful beautiful so this is definitely a favorite this month I love the pinky tones the mauvey tones very excited for the next one that's going to come out here 
in, what is it, like a week or two? Sometime in June, June 15th. I don't know if it's coming out earlier on her site. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Somebody give me the tea on that one. Okay. Two more things, and then we done. It's lip products. We're closing out with lip products. Oh, actually, I lied. There's three more things. There's a fail, um, kind of. You're going to want to stick around. But anyway, two products, lip products I love this month. This is the ColourPop Just a Tint in Nude Beach. This is just a really fun, like, kind of brownie shade. Oh, that's a great swatch, Allison. There she is. These just a tints are just so easy to just slap on and go. I just, they're really nice. They're not the most long lasting, but that's okay. You don't necessarily need it to be. I mean, that you know, just put more on. <laughs> and they're so easy. You can just do it. You don't necessarily have to have a mirror. It's almost like a chapstick. Like, you can just put it on. At least that's how I find it, but... Anyway, the last is my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk in medium. I'm so glad I went with the medium. I really like this shade a lot. It's what's on my lips right now. Here's a little swatchy swatch. They look... <laughs> okay. Pillow Talk is definitely more rosy and just a tint... Just Nude Beach is more brownie, but... You can tell I have a preference from those two shades right there. Okay, final thing I wanted to talk to you about. I got this in the Sephora VIB sale. This is the Elia uh, Cucumber Water Stick. Um, this is like a nice product. I don't know as though I'll repurchase it. I'm like glad I tried it out and it definitely is cooling. I wouldn't, I don't really notice anything depuffing about it but where it fails is the packaging like that falls off so easily this thing comes out <laughs> like if you watch me on insta you might have seen me like trying to use this and like i opened it and like this fell out and fell onto the ground on my in my bedroom and yeah so i also think it's definitely like not as cooling as when i first got it and <laughs> I haven't even had it that long. Like, the Sephora VIB sale just happened. So, yeah, I think they could definitely work on the, their packaging. Um, but, you know, when I first got it and put it on, it just feels super wet. It feels super cooling. So, yeah. Just not sure if it's something I would necessarily repurchase. So, not a total fail, but, like, I could definitely see improvements there so anyway that is the final thing I wanted to talk to you guys about thank you so much for watching guys take care of yourself take care of one another I love you all and I'll see you in my next video bye